I personally saw as streamlined to a successful career, which I don't think is the right way to think about it. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Clouds and very nice to meet you. Today I've got some flowers, got the green cardigan, feeling the spring vibes even though it's the middle of winter. Also, I'm apologizing in advance if the lighting is weird. The sun is currently setting, so I can't control that. The lighting is going to change throughout this whole video. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about why I chose business and why I decided to choose business studies to pursue in university and also later on in my postgraduate studies. I would say that in my channel, this video and this video are definitely the most popular this video in particular getting a little bit of controversy in the comments and also just one of my most viewed or my most viewed video of all time so i thought it'd be pretty appropriate to talk about why i personally chose to study business and why i think this is a really good field to study and all the reasonings that went behind my head when i was like 17 18 years old making this big life decision as to what i want to do for the rest of my life yeah these are the things that I thought in my head and some of them are right, some of them are wrong some of them are correct assumptions, some of them are wrong assumptions some of them are good reasons, some of them are really bad reasons to choose a degree but reasons nevertheless, so let's get into it so the first reason why I decided to choose business studies as a subject at university is because during my A-levels and from my high school, I never really had one subject that I was particularly attached to. I liked essay writing, um, so I liked humanity subjects like English, history, um, languages, etc. But I also at the same time liked problem solving, so I liked doing things like maths and chemistry and science. Um, so I really enjoyed both aspects of the learning spectrum. So I really never had one thing that I could pinpoint and be like, ha, this is it, this is what I want to do. But when I discovered business studies, which I did as an A-level, I found out that this subject actually combines and blends together a lot of different concepts and learning styles, which I really enjoyed. So you had the more quantitative side with subjects like finance, accounting, which stimulated that side of my brain. But then there was also on the opposite side of the spectrum, things like human resources and organizational behavior that, you know, taught me a little bit more of like psychology and in lessons that kind of prescribed for more essay writing and more of like a abstract open-ended answer kind of thing whilst finance and accounting had like you know this is the right answer it's like math so I, I really enjoy the fact that it blended two different sides of learning for me which was something that I struggled with in high school because I never knew okay which subjects or which university subjects I choose because I kind of like learning these two different things at the same time and I don't really want to compromise for one only when I did my university degree I was right I was able to pursue different courses and different modules which you know gave me the opportunity to learn in different styles so during my undergraduate and postgraduate studies I was able to learn things like corporate finance business analytics and that had a really nice contrast with learning things like you know strategy and management operations because they just different things stimulated my brain in different ways and had I done something like chemistry or had I done something like biology or had I done something like psychology English I would have kind of been siloed into one learning style like either you're writing essays or you're thinking abstractively or you're questioning concepts or you're like problem solving and writing out equations there really wasn't a subject that offered a blend um, until I found business and it was a really good umbrella subject to learn different kinds of things under one subject so I really enjoyed that the second reason for me choosing business was because I actually really enjoy learning about things that I find applicable to my life and things that surround me in my daily routine had I gone to learn biology yeah it's very interesting in terms of like I learn what's in my body but I'm not really questioning like what plants are made out of or what you know specific <laughs> organisms are made out of in this world that we have it's not really something that I ponder a lot but business surrounds me every day just you know as soon as I leave the house I go into the shopping center uh, I go to the grocery store I look at prices you know we're surrounded by commerce every day and it's such a tangible aspect of your life that everything I was learning in class I was like wow I can see this in my life Apple and Amazon and different business models and you could you know physically see them not only 
like the products in your hands and you could see how these came to fruition but you could just understand how these companies affect your actual daily life which i really enjoyed so instead of learning something that was slightly more abstract especially to your daily life i really thought i wanted to learn something that's more applicable which is why i went with business because it's one of those subjects that is really really tangible and really applicable to your daily routine like you cannot really escape it um which is why i thought it was a really really good subject to choose and another reason reason why I went down this path. The third reason, which is more of a personal reason as to why I chose business, is because I've always envisioned, and this probably goes back to like my childhood stuff and let's not get too deep into there, but I've always envisioned myself like following kind of like a yappy lifestyle or yappy career and for those who are unfamiliar yappy stands for young asian professional and it's kind of a subculture within this large asian immigrant diaspora where children who are raised by immigrants who become overachievers want to follow this corporate career and, and they want to find their success by following and climbing the corporate ladder and that's something that i envisioned for my life not sure if it's a good or bad thing not saying it's the right thing to do at all but it's definitely something that has gone through my mind i've always been this kind of overachiever as a child and i knew that growing up i always knew that i kind of wanted to join the corporate you know field and kind of see if i can climb that way up and because of that i thought business would be a really good segue into that successful life that I saw. Now again, this is a very personal um, aspect and it's definitely not right. I'm not saying it's wrong either, but it's just one of the reasons why I chose business and I know a lot of you could probably relate to this because I feel like it's, it's a common thing amongst not only Asian kids, um, but also any immigrant children of immigrants out there so yeah that's another reason again not saying it was the right reason but definitely an incentive and definitely something that went through my mind before i picked business another reason why i picked business studies for university was because to be frankly honest i just thought it was a really safe choice like there isn't really like a, a lot of risk when it comes to choosing business it was one of the subjects that first of all it wasn't going to be too hard i knew that i wouldn't really struggle academically it wasn't really going to leave me without a job because even though yeah there's a lot of students that don't have jobs right now the employment the employment environment and employment situation is not looking very positive because of covid but all in all business is kind of like a safe choice for you know jobs and i knew that it was fairly interesting like it wasn't gonna be like anything i hated or super mundane and super boring um it was also not gonna be super stimulating it was just like a safe choice you know a safe non-risky choice and if you are considering choosing business because you think it's safe i personally would say now like go for something that you really enjoy go for something that you really like Luckily for me, business was something that I also really liked and something that I also really enjoyed. So, you know, it overlapped with a bunch of other reasons, which I'm also talking about in this video. But if the sole reason why you choose business is because it's safe, I don't know if that's enough of a reason. Um, but it was definitely one of my reasons. So let's just be transparent here. It's definitely something that people think about but definitely try to think of other reasons as to why you would want to do because for me, as I mentioned, it's very tangible, it's applicable, all these other things that I enjoyed about business. The fifth and last reason why I chose business studies as a university degree is because from a very young age, I have always been surrounded by business and this is in a different sense to what I just spoke about, about it being applicable to your life because you know, commerce and capitalization, this is different. For me, I was actually specifically brought up in a family of business owners. Um, no, none of us were like super conglomerate owners or like CEOs or anything like that. We're very much like working class, starting from the bottom kind of situation. But my parents owned, you know, restaurants, they owned shops, they owned supermarkets. Growing up, I was always, always surrounded by the concept of trading, you know, and the concept of making money through business and through commerce and for selling things and i don't know it just seemed like such a natural path to me because i've always been surrounded by this not only from my parents but my extended family as well my uncles my aunties so in portugal it's really really popular for chinese people to own like trinket shops they have like souvenir and trinket shops clothing shops like the kind of shops that you'd go to for like very discounted things because chinese people would import these from china and sell them in portugal which is what my family did so i was always surrounded by this concept of you know trading 
to make money and it was not only something that i found interesting but something that was very natural to me and i think it's because the way my parents raised me in the shop my me and my sisters would have to you know do the cashier register um we'd also just try to understand how the business model worked because we would translate for suppliers and vendors for my parents and talk to bank tellers so the concept of running a business even though yes very different from the typical in today's day and age like startup it's not really that similar but there's a lot of transferable skills and i know that in the future if i want to found a startup the skills that i learned as a kid and the things that i, I was surrounded by and were so natural to me will definitely be of use so it was one of those things that just made sense like i was born and raised in a family full of business owners choosing business really wasn't something that was wild it was it just made sense and it was very streamlined to what i learned as a kid and the skills that i've acquired from being born and being brought up in this environment so yes if you guys are students out there and you're thinking hey i would love to choose business but i'm not sure if i should i hope this video helps to summarize the five reasons why i picked business number one it's one of those subjects that really combines a lot of concepts together both quantitative quantitative and qualitative number two um, it's just very applicable to your daily life something that you can tangibly see and something that you can really relate to whilst learning in class number three it's fairly a safe choice it's not really that risky and it's really not going to incur you know that much struggle number four is one of the subjects that i personally saw as streamlined to a successful career which i don't think is the right way to think about it but it was definitely one of my reasons and number five i've just been really inspired by my parents and my family my whole life which is another reason why i decided to choose business so yes thank you very much for watching please give it a like and subscribe if you can and leave any comments down below for any questions or any other videos you guys want to watch next and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye I literally just got my booster yesterday so my arm is so sore right now i'm very expressive when i talk and when i'm like using my arms this arm is really suffering i didn't boom by enough yesterday because apparently this helps